What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now boy oh boy do we have a bit of a bloodbath right now. I mean 12% Bitcoin, Ethereum down 11%, Ripple down 11%, Bcash who cares, Litecoin $165, wow, Neo $84, Monero $256. That is absolutely ridiculous on the USD chart. Uh, in fact I'm going to take a look at Monero on the BTC. Ooh, 8%. That's pretty tasty, to be honest. Monero's not bad right now. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make money from trading if you are a complete beginner. Now, it's a very, very simple method, an easy thing to do. And all you need is really a Bittrex or a Binance or a Bitfinex account, something like that. And then you can use a platform called TradingView, which is here. You do not have to use that, though, although it can help. But in an essence, all you really need is CoinMarketCap which of course everyone has, and a website like Bittrex or Bitfinex or Binance, something like that. So it's going to be really, really simple and easy for you to follow along and get some great advice how you can make $50 to $100 a day extra on top of your income just to make a little bit more passive income. Now, if you do like the sound of this video and you are interested in getting more in-depth videos about trading, ICOs, mining, and how you can profit from cryptocurrency in general. I recently launched the Bitcoin Blueprint. Uh, it's a, a fully developed course with over 40 videos in there teaching you exactly how you can make money online with cryptocurrency. I do still, there are still a few places left uh, for the first 100 people, free crypto shirt shipped to your door, one-on-one -on -one Skype call, private email access, private Facebook group. The Facebook group's actually growing. It's really nice. We've got some uh, pretty positive people inside there. And of course, private live streams. So definitely check that first link down below if you were looking at take taking crypto a little bit more seriously in 2018. However, if you're not bothered about a paid course or anything like that, I do have three videos for free on mining, ICOs, and trading. That'll be the second link down in the description. So enough with the shameless plugs and let's get into the video. This video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make money trading if you're basically a beginner or a newbie to crypto. Now, even if you've been in crypto a few weeks or a few months, it's this isn't a guaranteed method, but it's pretty much the easiest way that you can make any money in crypto with trading without uh, investing any, in, into any schemes or mining or anything like that. You're pretty much in control of your money somewhat. Uh, so you want to go over to CoinMarketCap com and rather than viewing the prices in USD because most people don't buy in USD as you can only really buy from coinbase like uh, Bitcoin Bitcoin cash Litecoin ethereum which is not bad most people in fact trade in BTC Bitcoin so come over to coinbase click here and click BTC now we're gonna see the prices in BTC we're gonna see the volume in BTC the price uh, in BTC and the change in 24 hours. Now, the change in 24 hours is going to be the thing we're interested in. So we just click this once, it will give us the highest gain. And boy, oh boy, has NEM been doing well through this crash. <laughs> and we're going to click change in 24 hours again. And this is going to have give us the biggest decrease in the last 24 hours against BTC, against Bitcoin. Now, pretty much, if you see a coin uh, on here in the top, let's say top five, top 10 here on the biggest changes. If it's a reasonably decent coin and it's got a good strategy behind it, it's got a good team, everything like that, and you can go ahead and check it out, check where previous support was, check where previous resistance was. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but you can really start to make a bit of profit every single day just by finding the change in 24 hour coins. Now, this is super, super, super like, not newbie, but super, kind of beginner, but the tactics still work regardless if you're a beginner or advanced. I do teach more advanced trading tactics in the Bitcoin blueprint. So if you were interested in that, the first link down below. But we're going to take a look at one down here that it's pretty popular. You want to be looking at volume as well. You want to have a volume of 24 hours of around, you're looking for around 500,000 to 1 million or more USD. So if we go ahead and 500,000, divided by, what's Bitcoin right now, like 9,000. We're looking at around 55 or more Bitcoin in the last 24 hours. Uh, so most of these have that, BlockNet doesn't have that. But anything, let's say above 50 to 100 Bitcoin, you're gonna be fine trading. It should be okay. So we do have Nano down there, that would be a great one. But for today's video, I'm gonna be using Bittrex. So Nano's not listed on Bittrex, but N Nano's been decreasing by 10% recently. Uh, so if you got into that, that could potentially um, be quite profitable. But I'm going to come down here to one called Seacoin. Now, Seacoin is basically cloud storage. 
uh, I was already invested invested in it uh, all the way back here and I sold at the peak here at the pump and took my profits and I bought back in around about down here somewhere. So I do trade Sia coin quite a bit. I do know it a little bit well and it's definitely a nice coin and the volume is 6.8 million in 24 hours. So there's definitely volume there for you to trade with. So what you're going to want to do, uh, this is slightly more advanced, but you can still do it. Go over to tradingview.com. You can make yourself an account completely free to make. And basically when you get on your account in the top left hand corner, you just want to type SC, which is the identifier for SIA coin. Now you may see all these lines on the chart, the RSI, uh, the MACD, the Bollinger Bands. You don't have to have these. Um, it does help. If you want to add them, you just come up here to this little line here, indicators. Click on that, you can type MACD, uh, add the MACD, you can add the RSI, uh, relative strength index, uh, bought, like overbought and oversold, and you can add the Bollinger Bands and the moving average. Um, my RSI is set to 30 and 70, um, and my Bollinger Bands, I believe, are 25 close to. So they're, they're pretty standard sets. Um, the easiest way to see if it's going to be potentially interesting to look into, I think, is by cross-referencing the RSI and the Bollinger Bands. So this is just very basic tactics, guys. So you want to add? We'll get we'll get rid of the MACD. Um, we'll get rid of the MACD for now. We don't need the MACD. So we got rid of the MACD. Uh, now we have the RSI and the Bollinger Bands, and of course the price. So we're going to minimize this because it's a bit annoying. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at the one hour chart and we're going to reference this to the four hour chart as well. We can see here on basically the very, very basic fundamentals is when the chart, when the candlesticks touch the lower portion of the Bollinger Band, that's pretty much when we can see them maybe bounce off them. If you just think of these Bollinger Bands as kind of like they bounce off it whenever they hit them. Yes, this is very, very simple uh, analogy. I go over it more in my Bitcoin blueprint. I'm just trying to give an overall beginner's guide to this. So you, I recommend doing some research on Bollinger Bands and also the RSI relative strength index, and this will give you more information about it. But effectively, once we have hit the bottom Bollinger Band, in some point we will see an increase. And you can, uh, you can kind of monitor this with the RSI. So we can see down here, uh, the RSI, whenever it crosses under 30 RSI, that most traders, that triggers um, that they want to buy into the coin or the token. Whereas when the RSI goes outside of the um, of the bands, above around 70, now you can set this to whatever you want. 70, 30 is pretty standard in the industry. I keep mine on 70, 30. Um, but you could put it, for example, 10, 90 or... 40 and 60 something like that just depending on how risk averse you are so we can see here once it's crossed out of the rsi it has in fact dropped and most people use the rsi as a trigger of when to buy and when to sell now you might think okay that seems a bit easy but if you take a look back at the market here we can see the uh, rsi here it crossed out of the 30 band which would trigger that the the coin is in fact overbought so many people may be selling it. If it's overbought, many people might want to sell it. This is just basic fundamentals. So when it crossed out here over the RSI below 30, we can see then we've, we followed a pump all the way to out of the RSI above 70. Now this in very basic terms uh, would trigger a lot of traders to in fact buy it here and then sell it here. Now this does not always work. Of course it doesn't. Everything is different in trading. You can't truly predict the market exactly technical analysis is good for some standpoints but a lot of media and FUD plays a huge deal in it in my opinion anyway so we can see here if you would have bought in at the bottom here when it crossed out the 30 um, you would have in fact sold here and it would have been great you would have made a pretty decent profit but we can see here it does in fact have almost false triggers so we can see here it does touch here it then does go back up but then then kind of has a double bottom like so so it's definitely interesting to see. If you did want to go ahead and buy some CA coin, all you've got to do is go over to Bittrex, make your account, go on to B, uh, BTC Markets, type in SC, that identifier, click CA coin, and we can see it's down 7% uh, against BTC, which is pretty interesting. Now, to buy this, all you've got to do is have Bitcoin on your Bittrex account. You just go to wallets and it, you click the plus button and then deposit your Bitcoin. Once you've got your Bitcoin on there, you can, in fact, in fact go ahead and trigger a market buy order so what you would want to do let's say for example you want to get in at let's move it to the hour chart where, do we, where would we want to get in at 
So the previous uh, support was at around 155 Satoshis, I believe. So if we were to get in around now and then trigger a sell order for around 104... Yeah, so the support was at around 155 Satoshis. So if we were to get in now and trigger a sell at around 149, 152... Uh, we could in fact make a small profit. Now just doing this a couple of times a day can easily make you 50 to to $100 per day, very, very easily. So this has just been a pretty basic uh, video about trading. Of course, I've said this a million times, I have got more advanced trading videos in the Bitcoin Blueprint. You can come down here and have a look over the course, see trading videos here, and I will be adding tra new trading videos every single week exclusive for the course. So that's definitely very interesting. So let's say, for example, you're wanting to buy 0.1 Bitcoin worth of Seer coin. How would you do that? Well, basically, you would come over to Seer coin. You would have your BTC in your wallet, as I said before. Click the plus button, and then you'd be coming down here. Now, this is the trading section. This is buying Seer coin. This is selling Seer coin. You can see I do hold around 106,000 Seer coin right now. No, I'm not trying to promote this coin. I don't care if you buy it or not. I think the tech behind it is pretty interesting, and that's why I'm buying it and holding it. But if you wanted to buy 0.1 Bitcoin worth of Seer coin, you come down here and type 0.1. You would then select the price you wanted to buy Seer coin at. Now, do you want to buy at the last market price? Well, if you do, click on price here and click last. That would in fact get you 68,321 Seer coin. But you might not want to buy at that price. You may think the market's going to drop from doing your analysis. And you may want to, in fact, go ahead and buy it at... Um, 138 Satoshis. You can just click last here and then you can in fact alter this here to example 138 Satoshis. Once you've done that you just type 0 0.1 BTC again and basically you get 72,000 Seer coin. You just click buy Seer coin and then if the market reaches that price Bitrix will automatically fulfill that order and your order will be seen down here in open orders. Now if you did want to sell it of course once you've bought it and you've bought it you can then set uh, select a uh, limit sell. Now, let me check, go on the one hour chart, for example, here. We can see that there was, in fact, a lot of support around the 155, 156, maybe 157 Satoshi's line. I did say that earlier. So you maybe you want to set a sell order before that um, if you want to be a bit risk averse. Or if you are willing to take a few risks, you could, in fact, set a sell order for maybe higher up here on this support level, which is around 175 Satoshi's. So I would recommend if you just want to get a small profit, you can in fact set it for about 100 and, 100 and oh, let me go on the 30 minute chart, uh, around the 153, 152 uh, mark. So what you would do, you would type in here the units you want to sell, which would be 72,000 like so. I'll just copy that in here for now. BTC, what price do you want to pay? Uh, I said 100 and what did I say? hundred and 153 let's say 153 satoshis you would do it to 153 satoshis and then you would type in the amount you want to sell like so and you can see you'd in fact make a 0.103 bitcoin so you'd make a profit of around 105 110 dollars if you were to do something like that now that's a very very simple trade but if you can see if you do something like that every single day you can easily make 100 to 200 dollars per day profit now this was as simple as just going over to coin market cap and checking the the losers of the last the losers that sounds really bad but checking the the biggest loss of the last 24 hours and simply buying that coin now this is really basic fundamental um, trading advice. Yes, you can make 50 to $100 a day easily doing this, as I showed you just now. I'm not going to be purchasing this. Um, sorry, I'm not going to be purchasing this um, sell order and buy order because I already hold Sia coin and I'm pretty happy on my position where I bought in. But this, you can see, would make you 0 0.01 Bitcoin profit, which is really nice for a trade that would probably take you maybe around three, four hours and you, that trade could get fulfilled. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, click the first link in the description. Check out the Bitcoin Blueprint. I have so many videos on there about trading, ICOs, mining, how you can profit with cryptocurrency in 2018. If you didn't want to get that, just jump on the list for the free three videos. Biggest tongue, tongue twister of the year. The exclusive three Bitcoin Blueprint free videos. 
about mining ICOs and trading. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep hodling, and I'll see you in the next video.